Hi, today we're going to uh, talk about IABS uh, Generation 1 brake leads. The IABS Generation 1 is easy to identify. When the key is on, you'll hear a whirring sound when the brakes are applied. This will be both on R and K models of motorcycles. These bikes, uh, was, they were an upgrade from the original ABS. Uh, but it does require quite a bit more maintenance than either the earlier or the current models of ABS. The way the pump is designed, it has two different circuits in it. It has a uh, wheel circuit and it has a control circuit. They, the fluid for these should be replaced every two years. It requires a very specific bleeding procedure and sequence in order to do it properly. Uh, the way that the ABS pump is set up, you have on this side of the pump, there are two caps uh, with a plastic body. This is for the uh, wheel circuit side of the bleed. Um, you bleed through the pump itself and then through the front and the rear brake calipers of the motorcycle. On the other side of the pump, there's a series of ports that need to be bled in sequence and that will pull fluid through the pump itself and through the front and the rear brake reservoirs. Uh, again, with this IBS system, it's very important to do your regular maintenance uh, as these pumps are very susceptible to dirty fluid and these are very expensive to replace. So just uh, regular maintenance, two years, you'll save yourself a lot of uh, money on potential replacement and also you'll have better brake function with fresh fluid uh, being replaced. Thank you.